What's up, everyone? It is Friday, and it's 12. That means it's hashtag time for paint for positivity. Okay, so we've been talking about this all week. We're kind of focusing on Easter a little bit. So we did some bunnies these past few days, and I've, it's Good Friday, so we're going to paint this today. Very easy. Your color palette, really just four colors or so. Okay, so... Here are the colors you're going to need. You're going to need blue, pink, yellow, and then some black. And then you can use some white if you want. But I use white because I was mixing the red. So these are the colors I was using. So they're a little darker. But if you get some white in there, then you're, you're good to go. Okay, let's get started once I get these bottles standing up. Okay, so we're going to start off with the blue. Just paint all the way across. Kind of like how we did the West Texas Sunrise. Kind of similar. Just want to get the top part. Let me get this up and go up and running so I can see some of the comments. This phone is just not working. Here we go. They're a little okay, there's like a weird delay on my other phone. <laughs> okay. I'm running out of the blue. That's okay. Time to refill, refill. Get my palette out. And get some white. And then I just use a chopstick to mix my paints up. Smother that bad boy, all of it. I would say maybe go one third of the canvas. Get the sides. So I think next week we're gonna do a lot of spring themed paintings. And that one I'm actually really excited for. There's especially one that I think will, that one will, will be really fun for the kids. Okay, so this part, you wanna make sure all of that is painted. Going back and forth, this is going to be your top part. Then always, always wash in your little water cup. Okay. And then I just use a towel to wipe off the excess. Okay, the next part is the pink. And it's going to look really pretty once you blend it all together. So right here, just some red and white, and now I need to <laughs> refill that again. Okay, actually let's do that right now. Just 
just a little bit of red and then a lot of white. And then you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the blue, just kind of paint your canvas a third of the way. Maria, what's up, girl? Maria used to work with us and we miss her. We miss her on sunrise. Speaking of sunrise, I go into work today. My boss has all these packaged uh, cinnamon rolls. And she's like, oh, we're celebrating. And I'm like, Cause it's, is it because it's Good Friday? And she was like, no, it's been a year since we did, uh, since we revamped the Sunrise show. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. It's crazy how a year can go by so fast, especially when you're having fun. <laughs> I'm just going to use a separate brush and what I'm going to do is blend. So what you can do as well, get half of your brush and this will help give you that little gradient look. Half on top is blue and then half on top, half on the bottom is pink. Make sure you fill in the gaps so you don't have any of this canvas that's peeking through right there. Sounds like there's a coronavirus task force happening in 30 minutes or so. Okay, so when you are blending right here, it doesn't have to be exact. And I got paint on my phone. <laughs> it's acrylic, you can just peel it off. Okay. I think that's good. This just needs a little more. Okay, wash it off because you don't want the acrylic to stay on your brush and it's gonna dry and then you're gonna be sad because then you can't paint anymore because it's gonna be hard and you're gonna have to buy new brushes that's why you always have to have a water cup then the next part is the yellow so get your yellow put that bad boy on there And you don't have to go all the way down, but just try to go as far down as you can.
blend, blend, blend. Just keep going. You kind of see there's a little bit of an orange line there. I've seen West Texas sunsets look a little bit like this. Hi, John. Now I'm going to go and use uh, some of the blue. I'm going to go back and touch up the blue part. When it starts to dry, you'll kind of notice that um, sometimes you may have to do a few coats. Um, and for this one, I guess it doesn't really matter um, what brush you use when you're using a sun when you're doing like a sunrise or sunset or whatever thanks emma hope your day is going great content. I kind of like the background, but it's going to get better because we're going to do the sun rays and I'll show you that in a second. So get your handy dandy blow dryer. I'll show you right here. So these sun rays, easy. So we'll do that next. So I will go back and use my flat brush once I get this blue off of it. Yeah, check your brushes. Cause this morning when I was doing my practice one, oh, it's my boy Dylan in the house. What's up Dylan? By the way, Dylan says Sunday is gonna be a great day for Easter Sunday. So if y'all do backyard Easter egg hunts, I'm sure the kids will love that. It's gonna be a nice day. Okay. So very, very lightly, I am going to kind of dab the yellow in there, just a little bit. Brush off the excess. little breezy oh dylan says by the way if you're putting chocolates in the easter eggs you want to put a lot of them for the kids because it's going to be a little windy okay so this is how you do the sun rays just something like that go back in the yellow And you're just gonna make these sun rays go across. Why didn't she back up so far? What, the neighbors? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go back with my blow dryer. And there's really no like starting point to where you have to start your race, just as long as you start from the bottom. I wanna make it as dry as I can. So that's what I'm doing right now. And kind of do like a flick.
and it doesn't have to go all the way to the top, just kind of, this is, these are the sun rays, just slightly. And space it out, it doesn't have to be the whole thing with these yellow lines, okay? And just be careful when you're using a messy palette like me. At one at, at, there's gonna be a point where it's just gonna pile up and then you could peel the acrylic paint off, which is like super fun. again slightly dip just slightly wipe off the paint I want to have a dry brush and if you want to use a little bit of white too instead of this yellow you could do that okay I think I'm okay with that then wash off the brush every time you use a different color because now we're going to use the black. Do y'all have any Easter plans? Anything fun to do this weekend? This is what Bob Ross likes to do. He'll like, I just beat the devil out of this. Okay, so I think this is good. Now I'm gonna use some black. And this is what's gonna create that silhouette. Actually, I'm gonna use my round brush. So this one is not as straight, but this will give you a nice little hill. So I think I want my hill to start Probably have it down here, maybe up here a little bit. So that's my hill. So you see there's a white space here. I think I'm gonna put some trees here. So I'm just gonna leave that blank for right now. I'm just gonna paint the sides of the canvas. 
You, the reason why you want to do this is because when you do hang canvases like this, you want it to look nice. You don't want to have some of that canvas peeping through. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can make some trees. If you want to make some trees, you don't have to. So I'm going to dip in the black, kind of wipe off the excess, and then do a line. So I'm just kind of pointing my brush and making this line that goes down here. Most of the time you do want to use a fan brush. I don't have one, but one day I'll show you when I get one. And then you're just going to start dabbing. And you're gonna make uh, like a kind of wider lines, but then as you go up, they're gonna be slightly smaller. Let's do it again and just do little smaller ones. The line will is just basically your guide when you're making these trees. Dab, dab, dab. And just be very careful as you make your way to the top of the line because you want it to look like a triangle. All right. One more time. You can have some of them off, maybe even smaller ones. Okay. What's up, Andy? So what I'm doing now is I'm starting to see a little bit of the white peep through. It's because Jelena didn't put her sunset all the way down on the bottom. But we, we make happy accidents. Like Bob Ross. Okay. Those are my trees. I'm still gonna use black, but I'm gonna use a different brush. So I'm gonna rinse this off. And then I'm gonna use a flat brush. So when I'm making the cross, this will give me um, some precision as I'm creating it. I'm actually gonna use the hair dryer just so this part, I don't like put my hands all over it and make some more weird marks. with my flat brush. So if you're gonna do a cross, you can, you don't even have to do a cross. I'm only doing a cross because it's Good Friday and like I said, we're doing everything Easter thing. You can really do anything you want. If you want to add another tree there, that's totally fine. Um, so when you're doing the cross, you can either make it um, appear, here I'll show you. 
if you want to start out with a guide, you don't know how big you want it. I think I'm going to have mine here. And then it's not going to actually look like this. I'm just going to make it thicker, but I just need some kind of guide to see how I want it. Okay, so I think there that's where I want to put it. And now, once I, ugh. it's hard to explain this part, but just make small lines like that. And this is easier for me as opposed to just using another type of brush and just making a line. Um, we're all human and sometimes our lines aren't gonna be as straight as we would like them to. But if you wanna measure it out and use a ruler, you could do that too. I'm gonna rotate my canvas a little. Actually, I'm just gonna move on the side here. I'm really just eyeballing this, but if you don't wanna do that, I would say go ahead and use a ruler. So for this rough draft, <laughs> this one is a little thicker um, and it's really up to you if you want to make it thicker or thin. Hi, Violet. She's driving. She's driving? <gasps> oh, her car's back. She's oh, she's not driving. <laughs> I swear, I don't walk around my campus all the time. Okay. I'm gonna just touch that baby up. So here's the thing, you can leave it like this if you want, or if you wanna add a piece of cloth uh, or like a drape on top of the cross, um, it's super easy. I'll show you how to do that. So for this part, I'm gonna use my smaller flat brush. Here it is. And there's blue paint on it. Don't do that. Rinse this off. Okay. So to make your drape, get some of the black, just a little bit. back and forth on the palette. You're gonna make like a small C right here. Okay, this is, I'm just showing this as your guide. Then do another one. And then there's gonna be a little bump right here. Thicken that up. I'm 
okay? You're not done yet. And then for the rest of it, basically the drape is going over the cross. So you're gonna kind of bring it down there. Depends how pretty you want your drape to be. I think I'm gonna make mine like that. Thicken this up. Okay, then I'm gonna go over some of the black on the cross. Make sure when you're washing your brushes, you apply really good pressure when you're um, rinsing them off because you don't want some of the acrylic paint to get stuck here and that will uh, damage your brushes over time. Okay, so you can finish, you can leave it like this if you want, or if you want to add some highlights to the cross, you can do that too. Um, because the sun is kind of peeping up right there, you don't actually see it, I'm going to lightly get some of the yellow, wipe that off, and then add some of the highlights on here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this just shows that you have some highlight. If you don't want to add too much paint, I always say try to dry your brush as much as you can. And then I'm gonna tap a little bit, just add some. Just, this is gonna um, kind of give some of the hill some, uh, I don't know if definition's the word, but just make sure the black is completely dry. And like I said, just use the blow dryer if you need to. Okay, a little bit more. So since my sun is right there, I'm gonna touch up right here. You might not even see some of the highlight, but it's there. And then I'm gonna add some to the bottom. Okay, that's a little wet. And then I'm just tapping. And if you want to add a little bit on the actual drape, you can do that. And I'm going to add this right here, just lightly. You want to be as light as you can. So I'm kind of having this part of the cloth uh, hang over.
And there you have it. Happy Good Friday, everyone. Be safe this weekend. Um, I say this in all my paintings, it's really up to you. If you wanna make them shiny, you can add a varnish, or if you have a Mod Podge around the house, um, I don't know why you would have Mod Podge. If you're a very crafty person because you can use Mod Podge or anything, uh, just add that on top of your canvas and that will create um, a nice little gloss to it. So um, that is it, everyone. I hope you all have a safe weekend. Be very careful if you are doing any kind of Easter egg hunts um, in the backyard or something. Send us some pictures. Uh, we would love to see that. But anyway, that is all. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.